Today we'll repair an 1965 Falcon fuse box. Of course, this method can be used in similar models like Mustang and others. First, it is necessary to remove the fuse box from the car, and don't forget to note the correct wiring order. We can see a lot of rust in the box. This is because most of the clips are made from ferrous materials instead of copper or brass, which allows terminals to oxidize, and rust does not allow current to flow. To remove the rusty old clips, it's necessary to push the returners that hold them in place, then just push to release them. Remove 9 clips, except the one in the picture. This one is usually made of copper, and it only needs to be sanded or cleaned. Once the clips are gone, it is a good idea to clean the entire box. Once finished, it will look a lot better than before. Now, with a clean box, it's time to put the new clips in place. You need 9 little fuse quarter inch clips, a 40 watt soldering iron, a hammer, and a flat tool. The type of clip needed has a flat base and retainers to hold each one to the fuse box. The first step is to thin the flat base of each clip. This will allow us to solder every cable back in place again. After that, gently press every clip in place using a flat tool and a hammer. Now we need to make a couple jumpers tightening about 1 inch of 12 gauge cable and soldering to every corner opposite to the mounting holes. Finally, with all the clips in place, it's time to insert a new set of fuses, and we're almost done. You can rewire the box using terminals and the 40 watt soldering iron. Repeat this step with every wire attached to the fuse box and we're done. The fuse box finally looks and works as good as new.